Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video it's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh so in this video I will be telling you how to fix them annoying so there's a fix to start with and there is a fix we have on open color now and it's a kind of a lengthy fix but it do fix the problem and let me show you how the problem gets fixed so our memory modules look like this it look pretty neat tick 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 green and neat and clean so if i go here go to about this mac yeah minimize this overview system report and memory so look at this so it do tell that i have one mb of memory in every other slot and i have 16 gb and 16 gb here with correct uh, dim configuration and correct speeds and size and with correct details so how do we start uh, making the configuration so the number one step of making this configuration is to open open core configurator and make sure you are on anything latest than 6.6 or and it's pretty stable on that you mount your efi partition and open this and right now right now you can see i have mapped the whole memory so i won't do this for you because i have to tell you how each and every other detail came into the existence all these details where do i get them and stuff so let's close this and open this config.plst so this is the empty plst and if we go to memory you can see it's empty so you need a very important software for this which is MED code DME decode and this software will basically make everything came into existence and this will show you each and every detail of your hardware so you will need this dummy decode uh, software to get all of these details out of your hackintosh so the number one step is if you double click this software you'll see it gives every single detail out of your motherboard onto the terminal command but we need specific details so what we have to do is we have to open terminal. So if you can't find terminal in your system, just go to search and write terminal and press enter and this will pop up. And what you have to do is start with opening terminal and dragging and dropping this application onto the terminal. And then these are the codes. So I will write this code in the description below so you can copy and paste. You have to copy the first code and you have to paste it after this code with a space between and press enter so now it's giving me the data width so now you know what you have to do is you have to enter the data width here 64 and be sure that you make no mistake in entering the these above details because these the wrong details can cause system to crash and not to boot properly so number one uh, uh, tip here will be make a backup of your EFI before you try this because anything can go wrong and this is annoying this may cause some issue if not done properly so the second step is copy this and paste this so we have error correction type none so we select it none 0x03 zero zero is equals to none we have form factor so what you have to do is copy this code paste this let me place this code here cover the screen up so trying to do okay and space enter so we have our form factor as dim so we select dim maximum capacity so maximum capacity is basically the amount of memory your system has in total so there is no uh, code for that but there is a way so for example what what i have is 32 gb right if you have anything else then you can then you have to basically calculate the amount of that capacity in kilobytes so look at this this figure how do we calculate this figure so it's 32 gb into 1024 into 1024 and this is the and i think one more time so so it's the amount of memory in kilobytes so this is this makes it gb uh, kb mb kbs and bytes so three times into 1024 1024 1024 and this is the memory capacity i have and if i have 16 gb just change this to 16 gb if you have 64 gb just change it to 64 gb 
and you will get your answer so we have 32 gb and now we have the answer for that and next step is total width so for total width we have a command we we'll copy the command we go back we carry this and we drop on the terminal we press forward key to make it unselect and then we paste the command so we are total width of 64 bit as well 64 bit okay let's close this make it on side by side okay next step is type so most of the systems who have ddr4 they select ddr4 if you have ddr3 you can select ddr3 and if you don't know which memory type you have then you have to check the type details so then we have to copy this type detail we throw it first and this okay so this type detail basically is for this one type details so here we have synchronous so we select synchronous and we unselect the unknown for most of the system nowadays we are basically having ddr3 or ddr4 let me search for the command for the type okay so now we have to find the type if you don't know the type then you have to basically paste this command again we have to first copy this and then paste this so we have ddr4 as a type so i select ddr4 you can select the one that shows up for you then we came into the synchronous type type details so what we have to do is for type detail we again copy this and this so we get the type detail synchronous so we are done with our top heading which is very important and part one of this fix then we move to the second part which is adding the details of each dim so for having the acid tag what we have to do is we have to type the following for the acid tag we place this and minus v so we got the acid tag this we press the plus button we enter the ac tag now we have bank locator so bank locator we have the same type of code we drop this and enter this okay so we have bank 0 1 2 3 4 to 12 and you might show up to 4 or up to 8 if depending on the amount of dims you have so if you have 4 or 8 or 2 you just have to add the rest of these as it is so right now we just enter bank zero we start from zero then we go to the second step which is device locator or just the locator and we paste this we enter the second code and we got our dim locations so from here we just have to copy the locator which is dim one dim two dim b1 b2 so we copy this and we enter this okay against bank zero dim a we have this value then we go to the manufacturer okay so i have not entered the manufacturer so this might show up correctly on your system but it might not properly show up on mine and ocb is what my manufacturer name comes up either ocb is what my manufacturer name comes up with but i have i'm using a data manufacturing so i'm using basically a data memory okay after this we have part number so part number we copy the code for the part number we do the same copy this over okay so we have power number not specified so i can either enter not specified here or i can either leave it blank but i would prefer you to just enter not specified here then we have our serial number okay then we copy our code throw this up and serial number so it does show power number as blank then we have to basically find my bad so after the part number part number we have to find the serial number of the device so the, we put here through it again enter the code for the serial number and then we press enter okay so we showed up with the serial number for the two dims i have installed we place this for this one i will show you what you have to do so we move to the next part which is size you might know the size we have to enter the size in mbs here so with space and size so it shows up the all the dims i have with size so 16 gb and 1 mb 16 gb here we have to enter the size in gbs so 16 gb will be 1024 into 16 so that is 16384 and then we have to enter the speed speed to find the speed of your memory we have to again Go to dim, dim decode and then enter this. 
so it gives us the speed of 2600 mt 1 mt is what i enter so we just have to enter 2600 okay so this is how we fill our number one slot so once our number one slot is complete we make sure we have to make a total of 12 slots here so what we do is we copy this and we just keep pasting paste 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 or oh, you can do one one better step which is we paste it second time and then we enter the data so the manufacturer area it, it can be left as it is part number can be left as it is we have to change the serial number so for the empty blank we just leave it empty for the empty blank we have to enter the size as one and we have to enter the speed as one okay the acid tag remains same and we have to change the dim location which is now b2 okay we paste we copy this and we paste now the third one is basically a2 and now we go back and we find the serial number of the second slot so we copy the gig code again we throw it again and we make sure we copy the serial number of the second dim which is this one and then we hear we hear right empty dim empty dim okay so now we copy this empty dim and we paste it again so now we know we have empty dims all over and this is the last dim which have a sequence so a1 b1 a2 b2 so we have a1 and a2 dims and this dim has the correct memory size of so 16384 so and it also have correct speed because this is the only dim that is installed after this after these two make sure we have sequence correct we just have to copy it again and again and again until we have our 12 slots and once we have our 12 slots then we have to basically correct it okay so zero Make it one, two, three, four. Okay, so this dim, if we go here in device locator, so here in dim B1, which is basically the empty dim, we have to copy this code as well. Empty dim, empty dim, empty dim, empty dim, empty dim, empty dim, empty dim. Okay. And in sequence one, we have to continue our sequence, which is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so we have total of eleven bank slots starting from zero. We go here. So we have our 12 bank slots, which is 0 to 11, and we have our device locators, which is dim A1, B1, and A2, B2. And then we have our two, two correct memory modules, correct with memory size and memory speed. And we have our correct details, data width, error correction, form factor, max capacity, total width, type, and type details. After that, make sure we have our custom memory selected right here. This is very important. You have to select this. And after that, you just make sure we make no mistake and we save the config.plst. We use command S or you can save it from here. And make sure you have a backup before you try this. And then we close this config.plst and we give a system a restart. And after the restart, pretty damn sure your memory error will be fixed permanently and it will show the details like this here so 1 to 12 all a1 showing the memory modules in a different sequence than what you mentioned but that's it so that's how basically you fix your memory error on your mac pro 7.1 if you're using a hackintosh with misconfigured memory with the error that shows up misconfigured memory 
so that's all for this video guys i hope you liked it and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did give it a thumbs up share it friends and family and let me know in the comment section below if you have any question query also i have a patreon channel from where i provide personal support to any guys who are having problem with their windows pc macintosh hackintosh or any gaming pc any kind of help you can contact me there thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and until the very next video please take care allah hafiz